In this video, I'll explain topics related to benzene and benzene compounds. Most of this content comes from Chapter 13 of the 9th edition General Organic Biochem text by Biedelheim. To the left on the screen is a full Lewis structure of a benzene ring. It's a six-membered ring with what appears to be three double bonds alternating between the carbons. I say what appears to be three double bonds because the benzene ring is a bit more complex than just the static three double bonds. But for the purpose of this course, we'll interpret a benzene ring as three static double bonds in the ring. Toluene, styrene, phenol, benzoic acid, and TNT all have a benzene ring in their structure. Toluene and styrene are shown on the screen. The brand name styrofoam is made up of many styrene compounds or polystyrene. Toluene is the structure behind TNT. In the center of the screen is TNT or trinitrotoluene. Here's the toluene structure within trinitrotoluene or TNT. I want you to name this compound not as TNT but trinitrotoluene because there are three nitro groups bonded to a toluene structure. Off to the left is a compound called phenol. Notice the end of phenol sounds like alcohol because it has an alcohol group bonded to the benzene ring. And off to the right is benzoic acid. Notice the carboxylic acid group bonded to the benzene ring. This slide this slide describes the three ways two groups can be oriented on a benzene ring. Adjacent to one another, which is called ortho. One carbon away, which is called meta. And two carbons away, para. You're not responsible for memorizing any of these names you see on the screen, but I do want you to recognize if two groups bonded to a benzene ring are positioned ortho, meta, or para. This, compound, this class of compounds is not found in the text. They are a ubiquitous environmental contaminant. The two benzene rings fused together without the chlorines is called biphenyl. Biphenyl is relatively not as toxic as any polychlorobiphenyl. On the screen is a fully chlorinated PCB, or polychlorobiphenyl. A PCB is the result of any one of the hydrogens on a biphenyl ring replaced with a chlorine. There could be monochlorobiphenyls, dichlorobiphenyls, trichlorobiphenyls, etc. You'll be asked to either identify a compound as a PCB, not needing to give the specific name, or to draw a PCB. Here are some common polynuclear aromatic compounds. These are fused benzene rings. You'll need to know how to name these compounds if given a structure, or draw a structure given a name. Naphthalene is the main ingredient in mothballs. Anthracene and phenanthrene are found in tar and asphalt. Benzopyrene is a known carcinogen. Chlorophenols and polyphenols are not in the text, but I would like you to know how to identify a chlorophenol if given a structure, or draw a chlorophenol if given some information. I'll use this journal article to describe chlorophenols. A chlorophenol is simply a phenol structure with chlorines on the ring. There are three different monochlorophenols, six dichlorophenols, six trichlorophenols, three tetrachlorophenols, and one pentachlorophenol.
You'll be asked to identify a compound as a chlorophenol, not needing to provide a specific name, or you'll be given information such as draw a dichlorophenol, not any particular one of the six dichlorophenols. The other kind of phenol structure I'd like you to be aware of is a polyphenol. I'll also use a journal article to show you the structures of polyphenols. A polyphenol, in its simplest form, is a benzene ring with two or more alcohol groups bonded to the ring. More common polyphenols have many individual polyphenols bonded in a larger structure. Many polyphenols are beneficial to our health and are considered to be antioxidants. They can be found in green and black teas, red and white wines, for example. Here's an example of a polyphenol found in wine. It is the basic structure of a tannin. You can see there are one, two, three, four, five polyphenol structures in this large compound.